I'm Matt and this is not enough tech and I promise you a tutorial on Amazon dash buttons and Yeelight smart lights. I'm using Raspberry Pi to connect Amazon dash so when I press the buttons four seconds later I've got action which is in this turn is turn on and obviously a few seconds later I can use the same button again to turn off the light. I've showcased that before uh, in this video. How it works is uses Raspberry Pi uh, you can use any Raspberry Pi providing it's connected via cable to the internet. So if you're using Raspberry Pi Zero, make sure you use like adapter like this. Don't use Wi-Fi because it's not reliable enough. You can connect uh, to a single light. You can use two buttons with a single light. You can use one button with multiple lights. You name it, we can do it. I'll show you how. To be able to use our script, we have to install a few things. We start with TCP dump, so sudo apt get install tcp dump and after a few moments you should get that installed then we're gonna use pip3 because uh, uh, i'm using python 3 to install uh, scapy python 3 that should be included in your default installation to be honest but if it's not there or you're running like a light version of raspbian it's best to um, double check another thing that we have to install is the libraries for yeelight and you can use also pip3 to uh, install the yeelight library uh, don't worry if that takes a few moments because uh, I've shortened the sequences on the video so you could see it happen instantly rather than wait. Well, I'm not going to explain every single line. This is not a coding tutorial. I'll just explain the sections. So basically, we import in time, Yeelight and Scape, Scapy from uh, libraries. And then we set a global variable which is going to prevent button from issuing more than one IPR probe. Uh, to define the light bulbs, we have to uh, define the IPs of each light bulb you've got. If you've got multiples, just do it uh, this way, otherwise just uh, defines a single light bulb and assign that local IP. Now, then we have to uh, create a toggle. So I've created a special function that will tog uh, act as a toggle behavior for this uh, script. It will connect to the light bulb and get the properties of the light bulb. So basically it will check. Uh, what is the power state of the light bulb? Then, if the power state is off, it will uh, turn the light bulb on using the bulb dot turn on command. Otherwise, it'll turn it off. So, regardless of uh, the state of the um, light bulb, you always trigger the different behavior. Now, you've noticed I've added the sleep. Uh, this is to prevent the IPR probes from being from being issued twice and toggling it too quickly. Now, the main function is really what I've written before for the Amazon doorbell, and this is where you enter your MAC address for each button. Now, in this setup, you could control three different light bulbs with a single um, Amazon dash. Uh, so if you want to use multiple uh, dash buttons, all you have to do is just copy this uh, line and paste it accordingly, and then you can assign a different light bulbs. Uh, for each um, MAC address. Just make sure you uh, change the MAC address. If you want to assign two different dash buttons to a single light bulb, just uh, create two if conditions with different MAC addresses, but uh, keep the light toggle with a e light, for example, one for both of them. That will create this behavior. If you're interested in creative if you are interested in creating groups, the light groups and assigning them to a single, uh, dash button, you can do it this way when you execute different commands. Now, the last thing we have to do is just make sure this script will open on boot so you don't have to manually enable it. So uh, just go to our C local file. And uh, my advice is to put uh, sleep first. So uh, pause it for 10 seconds well, uh, until the execution of the uh, Python 3 script. So the script uh, would load properly after the boot is complete. So just Python 3 and then navigate to the path of your um, file, of your script. So wherever you're going to put it, my default location is home by uh, documents and the name of the script, followed by the end symbol. Uh, save it by Control X, yes to confirm, and you're ready to go. Right, I think that should be enough and you know how to control your Yeelight with Amazon Dash buttons. I've included a link to a written tutorial and files in the description of this video. Uh, I also recently launched Patreon, so if you're interested in supporting me directly, uh, take a look in the description for more information. I'd appreciate that. Alright, as usual, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.
Bye. Thank you.